Well, so here is the gray cat. As you can see, it looks normal. You know, same old standard gray cat. But it has a problem. And I'll show you what that is here fairly quickly. Whatever you do, don't get in it. I guess I didn't touch it. So, See? Now, it stays down, which means the suspension's fully compressed. You know, if it were real. And it's just sort of like tweaking itself to death. You know, kind of seeming to be unable to recover from being compressed and it's shaking itself to death. If you were to be trying to drive it around right now, it would drive okay. Not great, but okay. But when you go to try and get out, you'll still be moving because it's twitching a lot. <clears throat> so yeah, word to the wise, don't drive the gray cat until it's fixed. You will get stuck. You'll have to go into either Arena Commander or log out and then back into the game. So, yeah. Just, you know, don't do it. Save yourself the headache. Anyway, so as you can see, I have a new ship. It is not yet flyable. This is the Retaliator by Aegis. It's a very nice ship. I've already taken a look around inside on numerous occasions. Always finding something new to look at. Fair warning, uh... The access is a little noisy, getting into and out of it. And I'll show you here what I mean uh, in a moment. Yeah. So yeah, it's a little loud. That is the bottom docking collar. The other one is up on top, directly opposite it. And time for more noise. So, who's the heavy smoker, and why can't I get out of here? Let me out. Thank you. Wait a minute. That's weird. Oh, it's stuck partway. That's even better. So, it's a little buggy. Hey! Okay, that didn't go according to plan. Okay, that's... well... At least that's kind of fixed. <laughs> anyway, so, um, as you can see, this is a rather large opening. Well, kind of opening here. It's got handles. Don't quite understand that. And here's another one here. But, so you might be wondering, where does this lead? And if I could get the door to open, there we are you'll see that these are some rather large bombs or to torpedoes uh, I'm not sure which but it's rather big yeah I see I say torpedoes what do you guys think anyway suffice to say it's rather large so about you know 10 meters in length roughly 30 feet well, maybe not 10 meters. I don't know. No, maybe 10 or 20 feet, but not not 10 meters. Anyway, so over here we have we have toilet and sink and shower that doesn't have a door. So yeah, and then there's there's uh, other items down here. Shower supplies here. In two drawers. And toilet supplies here, next to the toilet. How convenient. And I don't even want to know why that wall is textured like that, but whatever. Oh look, and lockers. You know, showers, shower stuff maybe. Towels, uh, and so on and so forth. One hopes anyway. Never forget your towel in space. You never know what you're going to need it for. <laughs> Oddly enough, I don't even watch that movie, but you know. <clears throat> Here's another view of the bomb bays. 
Remember that little white, that little white bordered opening? Oh, well, now here's the other side. So now there's a an, a small upper deck here. Which, uh, you know, not much to it. You know, the turret access right here, and which is you know right up there. Not much going on up there right now. And then here we have, I guess, weapon lockers and you know things like that. I don't know why this one's back and the other three are forward, but who knows? Maybe it's just to show. Hey, this is what it looks like when it's in this mode. And then we've got six beds slash escape pods and a window which seems a little <laughs> um, less than adequate, I think. And what is with the AC system here? This is just ridiculous. I mean, come on, this place is just... just unclean air. I'm just gonna jump down through the hole. And here is the cockpit. It's a very interesting cockpit. Kinda nice, you know, a little unusual, but... we'll come back and take a better look here in a, a minute or two. Or ten. You know, just because. So... Heading back down the hallway and going in over here. Something you'll see if uh, in a lot of places throughout the ship are lockers. Lots of them. And I mean, you know, lots of them. This is one of the control rooms. The, the Well, the control room for, say, the bombs and, and, and other stuff. I don't, I don't know what those are. Maybe CIG can explain that. But I will take no guesses. And and look at look at how dirty the atmosphere is in here. I mean, holy crap. You can hardly see the other door. You, you go over here. It's like, wow. It's like, hi. Air conditioning system is a little inadequate. Who's been smoking in this ship and not letting it vent? You know, get some clean air from outside. So, locker one, which is now just barely visible. The one is almost invisible here. Can you see it? I can just make it out, but that's it. Then two and three. So, yeah, more lockers. And another bomb bay, but this time with no bombs. And uh, no way to get in there either, which is kind of strange, but... I guess they don't want you blowing yourself up. Look, more lockers. And another door. This goes to one of the turrets. Uh, one of the up turrets, one of the two that's on top in the back. So, yeah. Near the engines. One of the dorsal turrets, if you will. And this one goes to the rear ventral turret, right down here. And, you know, that doesn't go anywhere because, you know, it's the stop for this. So, and more lockers. There's a common theme here. You know how the Redeemer has lots and lots of, you know, fire extinguishers? Well, this ship has lots of lockers. Pretty decent textures, too. And another door going over to the other ventral turret in the back of the ship on the aft end, if you will. And... Yeah, I already showed you those. Bombay again. Doors. Big doors. Really big doors. And look, we're back over here again. So, not much to see here. And we'll just pretend like we came back out this way. I'll just open the door. And so, yeah. There's there's a fair amount in this thing. There's there's some there's a lot going on here. It's more interesting in some ways than the con con constellation ships. There's more to it, more to it, more hallways, lots of hallways, and this, ha, next to last but not least, is the captain's quarters. Ideally, yours when you pick up a retaliator, if in fact you dis decide to do so. I think these are storage areas. You know, makes sense. A bed that we can't get into at the moment, and you know, a, some kind of a panel and. Uh, yeah, I guess a half locker or something like that, and maybe a weapons locker here, and just places to put stuff here. You know, say you're 
you have a few books or something you want to set up there. Some gloves on that lower shelf. Uh, I don't know. Knickknacks and your med kit, just in case you cut yourself shaving in the other, on the opposite side of that wall. <laughs> the shower is on is directly opposite on this wall. So yeah, so it's a long way to go to, you know, to heal your face. <laughs> But, uh, you know. Anyway, so this goes down to a lower front turret. And, yeah, I already mentioned the one that goes, that's over the top there. And, yeah, I saw the texture glitch over there. There's a few of them throughout the ship. You will notice those. But, that said, you know, it's a nice ship. The insides are nice. The, the, the textures are, except for a few weird spots really well done I mean just look at these uh, these uh, these uh, these bits here I mean that, that's pretty well done not sure what it's supposed to do other than impede your view to some extent but the panels are nicely done you've got at least you've got four well put together MFDs and some panels panel displays etc and a uh, some device that didn't quite huh the that small device there in the center of the screen and that one there are supposed to line up differently but they didn't decide to do the do so this time so anyway no big deal and you've got your joystick got your throttle and you know too bad I can't take off and just go that would be cool but it'll happen at some point SLT underscore 956N. Be nice if each ship had its own, uh, its own serial number, its own designator. Maybe at some point. Anyway, so, looks good. I'm liking it. It's a nice ship. It can be, according to the, uh, to the brochure, be modified for several different purposes. Right now its primary purpose obviously is as a bomber because that is how it's configured. I mean you got these giant torpedoes in here and you've got an entire other bay that is just waiting to have stuff put into it. Ordnance, you know, things to blow stuff up with. Pretty significant uh, payload here. This is not a lightweight in terms of hitting power. So, yeah. Anyway, that said, that's, uh, I guess that's good enough for this ship. It's a nice little, well, little being uselessly, ship. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and send this noisy thing back up sooner or later. Hey, well, you know, it worked. All right, so now we're gonna head over here. Uh, let's see, let's go over to this ladder. That's one thing I like about this hangar is that I have a climbable ladder here that I don't have to like hit use on in order to climb it. I just have to press forward. Wish all of them were like that. It would be more immersive. And it works just as well, if not better than the other one. So. Anyway, there's the front view of the beast. Retaliator. Sorry, retaliator. Oh, and uh, just uh, just an FYI, it is floating over the landing pad just a little bit. What? Huh. Okay. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute So I'm off this ladder. If ever that happens. So I'll go into crouch. Well, I'll get a little closer first. Go into crouch mode. Actually, I'll go into prone. Maybe. Maybe prone won't work too well. So, see, you can see under the landing feet. If this were touching the floor slash ground. <clears throat> you wouldn't be able to see that. You'd just be able to see the outer edges. Anything that comes up to the outer edge of the foot. 
so yeah, everything is floating. The whole ship is levitating. It's very special like that. I wouldn't be surprised if other ships did too, so I'm not going to worry about it. I just thought it was humorous. Anyway, running up the ramp here. And there is the Gladius. Now this is a nice, nice fighter. Nice light fighter. Right now this is in its default configuration because I haven't changed it in this hangar yet. And I'm not going to jump in because I don't want it to glitch out on me or something. Because thing, as things are wont to do. What's that about? Okay, whatever that is needs to heal. Ah, there we are. We have textures. And we have a weird glitch going on with the 2 on the 362. Anyway, so... Yeah. Looking down the barrel of these... Is these guns here, or this gun? Yep. Now, whoever's in the cockpit, please don't pull the trigger. That could be messy. And then there is this little bird right here. And I do mean little. I think it's the smallest ship I've seen that isn't like either the Merlin or something like that. And I haven't seen the Merlin yet, so at least, you know, not in game. But M50, nice little ship. Quick and agile. Not as fast as a 350R, but still no slouch. So, yeah, and up the ramp we go again. I remember when I first tried to play this game before I got a better computer. <laughs> it was horrifying how slow I moved. Hmm. Okay, so the displays are a little blurry to say the least. But that should correct itself here in a moment. I haven't had time to let this, or haven't to kind of come up here to let these render in fully, so now they're, you know, rendered and stuff. And apparently it's all about the Redeemer, which I had before I went and upgraded to the, uh, to the Retaliator. Because, I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, look at that thing. It's a nice ship. It shades of B1, B2, and F111. <laughs> and who knows, you know, a little bit of this and that as well. But definitely a nice ship. Anyway, so, yeah, this is me pretty much done playing around for now, so see you guys in the dark. Have fun. Bye.